<laughs> if I always want to get high paying orders, I really don't understand why am I taking all the low pay ones? Is something wrong with me? Well, a little bit later in the video, I'm going to share some more about that. But first, I just wanted to start off with that I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this part-time for five years, and my name's Russ, and I love making videos to help drivers like you. My morning started off pretty hopeful. It's a Friday, and you know that eager excitement when you're ready to get out and make some money? I had all my apps on, and thankfully, I got an Amazon Flex order and I accepted it right away. This was from an Amazon Fresh store. Now, you know, the bad thing was it was 20 miles. The estimate was $25, so I'm thinking it's a $5 tip. So everything was going smoothly until I went in that store and I saw the cart. There were only maybe seven bags and then so many one gallon containers of water. Immediately, the thought flashed in my mind, am I going to a third floor apartment or maybe just an apartment complex where I have to get in a gate and I'll have to travel a long distance? Well, good news, I do have my folding wagon with me at all times and I would have definitely used it. Turns out I didn't need to do that. It was a long trip, but I know here in California with Prop 22, I'm going to get paid well for that. And I was thankful that it was a house. Now, when I got close to that house and I was unloading, I noticed really how run down and dirty it was. And they had a lot of signs saying, smile, you're on video. Maybe I was stocking up their water supply. But either way, when I finished that order, I was happy I left Uber Eats on and I got an order back in the direction that I came. And it was only like seven or eight dollars for seven or eight miles, but I was getting paid to go back home. My next order, I went to an Aldi's for the very first time. And let me tell you, don't forget to bring a quarter because that's how you use the shopping cart. That slowed me down. Inside, the cashier gave me a quarter and I did return it to him after. So I do thank him for his kindness. The store had an interesting layout. It reminded me of a discount store. Again, I haven't been in one, but they had a lot of good deals. And I just walked up and down the aisles until I found everything I needed. It was heartwarming when I dropped off the order. I discovered that it was an elderly lady and that made sense why she didn't respond to my chat. So I did refund one item because she wasn't communicating with me. And again, it was a low tip order, but I'd rather be busy taking medium and low paying orders than risk holding out for that really big one that's not gonna come. And I did find that by doing multiple orders throughout the day, it adds up pretty well. Now it has been raining today, and so I was eager to see whether food delivery or grocery shopping would take off. And sure enough, right after finishing this first Instacart order, I got a double order, and this one was at Target. I was able just to use the hand carry basket, so just a few items. The payout on that was almost $23, and maybe a total of seven miles. It really wasn't that big a deal, and good earnings. I did get a kick out of the comment the lady put in there because it was a mobile home park. She said it's space 123, not 100, such as the address of the street. And it took me a minute to figure it out. I figured maybe just drivers weren't paying attention and delivering it to the wrong unit that was right next door. But no, I think they were focusing on the address of the entire mobile home park. So we had a short little chat and laughed about it and I wished her a great day. So you may notice there in the back window, the raindrops. It's still been frequently sprinkling throughout the day and mostly I've been doing the Instacart orders. Now, I did go back to Costco and I enjoyed a nice little $1.50 lunch there. While I was waiting, this is what I don't understand. There was such a high paying order. What was wrong with me that I didn't take it? It was $26 seven and a half miles. Now what got me is I started focusing on the base pay. Two pickups, one at a pet store and one at Costco. So that was $12 for the base pay. And I'm thinking, hey, the minimum I thought was seven, that'd be 14. So here I'm contemplating this wasting time. The tip was decent. I think it was maybe $8, something like that. So the time that I flip through the items, seeing what's there, weighing, is it worth my time? Eventually, when I decided to take it, it was already gone. 
and I don't understand. What is wrong with me? $26? I'm pretty sure that whole 20 minutes that I wasted sitting there, I could have shopped both those orders and almost been done. So in lieu of $26, guess what order I took? That's right, I had Uber Eats on because I'm trying to keep my acceptance rate at 100%. I got a $4 order to IHOP. What a deal. So trade $27 almost for four. And I guarantee you it's probably a no tip or maybe a dollar on that tip. So I, I just don't get it. Why? Why do I always want to wait for those big orders or really analyze closely all those batches and see what's really worth it? I do follow Daryl Delivers, so you should check out his channel too. He shares do a dollar per item, not a dollar per unit, just per item. So in between orders today, I was contemplating, and I don't know if this applies to you. Have you had other jobs where you've been busy? So coming from a W-2 job, trying to do gig work. Before, I actually never knew about wear and tear on my car or that time is money. I've had jobs where you're a W-2 employee, and so you already know you have a shift and you're gonna work, and the day goes by. But when you do gig work, I've become acutely aware time is money. By me spending so much time contemplating that double batch, I was giving up income. Time was going by and I was making no money. So when I got that $4, you already know driving two or three miles, that's really not worth my time. I was putting wear and tear on my car and at the most I'm making $12 an hour and that's ridiculous. Let me ask you, how do you deal with that uncertainty, the questioning yourself, the knowing that time is going by and you're not making money? Because just like you, I have bills to pay as well. I don't want to just sit around not earning money. How do you deal with that? Do you feel a certain amount of anxiety? Or for me, during those times, I'll just start planning the next few days or different things that I know I need to get done. I don't want to just wallow and have self-doubt wondering if I'm going to get an order. So what do you do? And I'm curious as well, what percentage of drivers have come from a W-2 job into gig work compared to have you always been in gig work? And if you have, I think we could value your advice much more than other people like me who came from a W-2. And I'll also mention another thing I do is exercise. Obviously not running on a treadmill, but if I park far away in between orders, I can go for a walk, walk briskly anytime I can. So I'm not trying to just sit here in the car, not moving and wasting time, not earning money. So I appreciate your feedback. So I just checked my different apps. I've made $68 today and I've already been working five hours. So I should get another $5 tip, but I'm eager to get back out on the road and see what other orders there are. I've been sitting here this whole time with Instacart on right across the street from a grocery store and no orders. I don't wanna always feel that pressure knowing that time is money. And I really don't wanna keep continuing that trend of accepting low paying orders. Because by doing that, I'm really just digging myself a hole in the ground. And what I'm rationalizing is that, oh, if I keep moving or maybe by doing this order, it'll put me in another location where I'm gonna get a higher paying order. So I do value your feedback. Let me know how you deal with this anxiousness of uh, wondering where's your next dollar coming from. In light of today's topic of low paying orders, my last one this afternoon, headed into PetSmart, gonna pick up some hamster food for I think $4.50 or $5 of pay, and that'll round me out. So let's go check out and get this shop and pay order back to the customer so his pet can be happy. This one, you have to hold the barcode the right way. All right, we are good to go. Let's go check out. All right, and there you have it. We're done. Shopped that order pretty easily with the help of the employee. And I took a picture of the receipt. And next, we're going to deliver. Oh, come on. I have to put... Oh, good. Never mind. It says 
Did I see zero tax? Of course I did. Alrighty, let's go deliver this. And I'm gonna talk to my dash cam now with the customer's address. That way I have a record should something ever happen. And if you're deactivated, you can't get in the app. While we're on the topic of anxiety when it comes to your earnings, have you ever wondered how does your mindset play a role? Have you ever considered if you're happy or if you're very frustrated when you're out doing gig work? Well, I happen to have made a video on that about three months ago, and I'll share that with you now so that you can learn from that and benefit from my experience. Don't take low paying orders, and I'll see you in the next video.